Welcome to another episode of Culture Shock. My name is Sean Galloway, the president of Proact Safety. For this topic, I'd like to share with you something that I call the five dangerous safety perceptions. Now, remember that perceptions aren't the only indicator of a safety culture. Measuring perceptions helps you understand how people are currently perceiving at that given point in time, but it doesn't help you understand why people perceive what they perceive. To get that information, you need to go out and you need to talk to people. One of the things that I found is that there are five consistent dangerous perceptions that exist in organizations that create barriers to sustainable excellence and operational performance and safety. So I would encourage you, whether you're measuring formally, to go out and at least talk to people to see if these perceptions exist. Because perceptions create certain attitudes that tend to manifest themselves in behaviors in the organization. So if people are perceiving the wrong thing, we need to understand that and start to work to change those perceptions. But remember, changing a perception in another person is not an easy thing. Just giving them information and training doesn't necessarily guarantee a change. Very similar to where you can't force an epiphany on somebody. It's a discovery learning opportunity. So number one perception to look for, do people believe that zero recordable, zero accidents is possible? Here's the challenge. If people don't believe that if zero is our goal, that it's possible, are they going to work aggressively to make that happen? Even more so, if that perception exists in any level of management, do you think those individuals' employees will work aggressively towards a goal that their boss doesn't believe in? It's important to understand if that perception's there and why they believe that it's there. The next thing to look for is if people have the perspective that we're already good, there's nothing else that we can do to improve safety. Maybe that's true. Maybe from a performance reporting standpoint, you are very good in safety. But do you think that there's still risks out there? I hope you do. Consider how we thought about safety 10 years ago. An easy comparison is 30 years ago. I hope that as a global society, 10 years from now, we'll all look back and say, I can't believe we were driving and talking on the phone or driving and texting on the phone. We will continue to enhance our capability of keeping people safe with time. We want to make sure people realize that, great, if you haven't had any incidents over the past couple of years, fantastic, there are still opportunities to get injured. The third thing to look for is if people have the perspective of, won't happen to me. I've done this job for 20 years. I haven't gotten injured. It's not going to happen to me. Probably happened to somebody else though. People need to maintain that sense of vulnerability. They need to know that there is opportunities to get injured. There are opportunities in any job that you do that you're going to be exposed to some sort of risk there. People need to maintain that sense of it could happen to me. Now, you don't necessarily want to take steps to scare people in safety, but they do need to understand where the opportunities to get hurt happen to be. And the fifth thing is if people maintain a false definition of safety. If you walk up to any of your employees, supervisors, managers, and ask them to define safety, how would they respond? This is the way that I put it. If you had to define safety, if you had to put a definition next to safety, how would you define safety? Do people respond with, well, going home with the same 10 fingers I came in with? Well, safety means not getting hurt. Does it really? Does safety really mean not getting injured? Safety needs to be defined by what we do to keep ourselves safe, by minimizing the risk exposure, not by just not having any accidents. When people have these five dangerous perceptions, regardless of performance that you're currently at, If those perceptions exist, I promise you they will be barriers to sustainable excellence in your performance. Seek them out and work aggressively to change any of those undesirable perceptions. If you have any comments that you'd like to share, there are several different ways to do so. You may post a comment here at Canadian Occupational Safety Magazine's website. You can email me at info at proactsafety.com. Or please visit my podcast and blog site at www.safetycultureexcellence.com and leave your comments there as well. Thank you for all that you do. See you next time.